happy to have with us one of the all-time great Spartans, Mr. Javon Ringer. Javon, how are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. It's a pleasure to be here. Good to see you. Thank you very much for your time this morning. You're already in your second year in the NFL, Javon, but uh, I know you follow this Spartan program very, very closely, and uh, you can tell that it now has the official signature of Mark D'Antoni. Oh, definitely. You know, and I'm proud to say that I was here in the beginning when, uh, when Coach D first got here and just kind of helped set the, set the first initial building blocks to kind of help bring the program back to, to where it needs to be and to where it's at now. So, uh, so yeah, I'm definitely not surprised at all with the, with the amount of success that they're having this year. You know, I think there's a myth uh, with uh, football fans at the college level that once their stars go on to the NFL, they don't pay much attention to what their old school is up to. Yeah. But uh, having been around the NFL or the Lions and whatnot, I know that's not true because you, you, you certainly, sometimes, uh, you know, you go to teammates if you've got a little rivalry game going on, and, and game on. Man, we, we used to have people who've been in the NFL for five, six, eight years, and they're still arguing with different people about <laughs> who's college is better than who, who would have beat who back in their day, how they won this and they won that, and then your team ain't going to beat this team, and just saying your team is this and that. It's like, it still goes on. It's still that, they still have that, that just arguing all the time, every Saturday. Like, every Saturday, we'll have our little walkthroughs or whatever in the morning, getting ready for Sunday, and everybody's at the TV, everybody's arguing and doing their little side things, talking about the game. So, yeah, it's definitely something that's steady with you. No, that's entertaining, and it is true. I mean, there's still, years after you're out, a lot of passion about what school you went to. No, definitely, because you put, so, you put so much time into this, and you put so much, you know, you're committed to so much when you're in college and you want your school to be successful, so then even when you leave, it's like you still have a bond. Well, I know for a fact you, 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 you like to pay attention to the three-headed monster here in East Lansing with uh, Le'Veon Bell and Edwin Baker and Larry Caper. I mean, three great running backs, and uh, hopefully we can get the running game going again here today. Yeah, I have no doubt about that. You know, they still, the offensive line is playing a lot better, and we're still balanced on offense. We have a tremendous passing attack, which is going to help our running game. And you're right, all three of them have been doing tremendously well, and uh, that's something that I, you know, I'm sure that will continue. Uh, the transition you made uh, from college to pro ball, something we were talking about off the air uh, here, Javon, uh, and it is quite an adjustment to go from the college schedule to the demands of what the NFL has. I mean, you were rattling off what transpired when you left Michigan State before you even took your first snap in the NFL. It's crazy. It's, it's definitely crazy. It's so much time. Like, this, this being my second year, like I was saying, it's, it's a lot easier than what it was my freshman year. My freshman year, you went from summer summer camp from my senior year to like summer conditioning in the summer camp and then my senior season and right after your senior season. And you guys get ready for the combine and then pro day and pro rookie camps and then mini camps and OTAs. And then uh, you're right back into another camp and you have been just finally playing your rookie year. And that's 16 games. Right. And usually you're only used to playing like 12, 13. And then when you get to around that time, your body count is used to it being over. And you still have to finish out the season, so uh, it's definitely a lot, definitely a lot. But uh, and a 16 game schedule, 16 game schedule, that, that is a lot. Like, people underestimate that, and that's not including the preseason games that you play right. uh, in, in August, and uh, and especially for us, but for, for, for your, rookie, your rookie year and young guys, you just get there, you're, you're playing the majority of that game, so I mean, it's, it's a lot. Oh, it's tough. Well, similarities, uh, before we let you go there, Javon, similarity between Jeff Fisher. Uh, who's been uh, with the Titans organization for a long, long time. He must be doing something right. Uh, and Mark D'Antonio. I think, you know, when you take a look at them, uh, the similarity would be they're both low-key, but yeah. certainly able to get their point across. Definitely. They're definitely both, both, both pretty laid back, but they're, they're, very, you know, they're very good with getting, getting their point across, but communicating with the players and, uh, and expecting nothing but the best from them. And, uh, and what I've definitely been able to see from me being here and we being down in Tennessee, uh, all the players, we all respect the coaches. Uh, all the players respect the coach and Tony when I was here. And definitely when I got down to the city, everybody, uh, everybody had amazing respect for Coach Fisher. And, uh, and that's something that they've been the most definitely. Well, a tough year for the Titans a year ago, but you guys are uh, right in the thick of things just here, yeah. Javon. And thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good luck on the rest of the day. Big day for you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Javon Ringer with us here, folks. Uh, again, one of the great all time Titans. Uh, making a name for himself in an action football league.